Hey, hey. Broadcasting from beautiful, gorgeous, 70 degree San Diego, California. Out here for a quick 48 hours for uh, video creative directing content. Little uh, work trip. Got an email a few days ago from just a young filmmaker who tracked me down, found me. He just had a good email, a good question, and I thought what I responded and told him was something I've said a lot, and it's just... It's not really information that's readily available or stuff that you would know. So I thought this could be content that, that's useful for you. So this is from Josh. He said, hey Thomas, I'm a South Carolina based filmmaker in pre-production on my first feature. It's a super small micro budget film. Watching fair and reading various interviews you've done for the film has inspired me to finally take the plunge. One of my favorite things about fair doing a film so quick and so cheap is that it's caused a lot of other people to just make their first movie. He said, I was hoping you might have some advice based on your experience. Most curious about what to do after I've finished the movie in terms of distribution. Great question. It's hard enough to get a movie made, but then you get a movie made, then what? With such a limited budget, I need to be more selective about festivals. I'm also not very well versed in the world of sales agents. Do you have any advice on navigating that part of the film business? Josh, I'm na navigating it myself, and I'm only a few steps ahead of you and ahead of a lot of people who ask the question. But in my the last few years, here's what I've learned. So this is what I told Josh. Once you have finished a film or even locked an edit, you'll want to secure a sales agent. The sales agent will secure you a distribution deal and many times help you find a good festival to premiere at. Our sales rep was Circus Road Films, and they would respond to your cold call, but you should also research others and contact as many as you can. Get an IMDb Pro account. Yes, it costs a couple hundred bucks a year, but you're gonna have to spend it. It's money well spent. Get an IMDb Pro account and find all the films you love that are in the same wheelhouse as yours. Specifically, the lesser known indies without stars like yours. Find the films that you've never heard of that seem like they could be good reference points for what you're doing and see what sales reps they had. On IMDb Pro, it will list these films sales agents. Make a list and contact every single one of them with a short, clear email with a little about the film and a link to a private screener. Many of their websites will have submission protocol even. Hopefully a few will respond to you and you'll be able to make a deal with one of them to rep your film. Then let them do their thing. You know, the bigger films don't do it this way. They're not cold calling, they have relationships, but for what I did with Fair and for Josh, who's just making his first film, scraping it together, then what? This is kind of what you have to do. Unless you're making the most amazing indie film ever made and you have people tracking you down. But let's be real, that's probably not this film. It certainly wasn't fair. Don't make marketing and art materials for your film. This is something a lot of films did. I even did with Fair and have learned since then it is not the thing to do if you really want to get a good distribution deal. Don't make marketing art materials for your film. A lot of distributors will pass on your film if they feel like you've already decided on a poster, artwork, trailer, and marketing materials. Distributors love a movie that is just clean and fresh and pure that they can really uh, create all the marketing around. Get a couple of good photos from the set and a great description and then just trust the film to find its audience and find its distributor. Festivals will be everything to getting a good distribution deal. Hopefully your sales agent can help you land one of the good ones, quote. But there are still a lot of great middle tier festivals that may not be able to get you an aggressive sale, but could help your film get a lot of good press. One of the good festivals is one of the three or four in America that the distributors actually go to. That's why everyone wants to get to Sundance, South by Southwest, South by Southwest Tribeca because there's only a few festivals that buyers physically attend, and that phenomenon of buyers in the same space is what produces the high sales for a film. Most other film festivals, buyers aren't going, so premiering at them could get you some good buzz and recognition, but it's not necessarily gonna get you a good sale. Um, but there are still a lot of great middle tier festivals that may not be able to get you an aggressive sale, but could get you a lot of good press. And if you get a great festival premiere, uh, then you'll start to get invited to other festivals. So your limited festival budget isn't a big deal, but if you're not getting those invites, then you'll want to screen at as many of them as you can. So you gotta find the money somewhere and submit. But don't worry about blasting all of them with a cold submission out of the gate. Another bad strategy, just submit everywhere, spend all that money. The reality is you wanna focus on really just getting your premiere festival and then 
worry about the others after the fact, and half of those others you won't even have to pay for. For FAIR, we already had secured our world premiere ourselves before we landed our sales rep. We also hired a publicist for a 30-day window around the film's premiere. That was money well spent, as that publicist helped us get a ton of reviews and interviews for the film, all of which served as well. A good sales rep can also help you secure a publicist. Hopefully this gives you a good running start. I'd be happy to take a look at the locked edit of the film, and if it's something worth vouching for, if it's any good, I'd be happy to send it on to the sales agents I know. But I'm certainly not connected to a lot of the big dogs yet. But while introductions like that are invaluable, it's also about the hustle. So just cold call everyone from your list and don't underestimate the power of a pithy and well-worded email. Stay in touch, Thomas. And the thing about distributors, because if we're making small films and we're weighing distribution deals, there's a lot of discussion about if my distributor is just going to put it on iTunes, why am I paying him when I could sort of self-distribute or pay an aggregator to get it on iTunes? And, and the reality is anybody can really get their film on iTunes or some of the, the digital platforms. But what a distributor is going to do is going to tap all the markets that you're not thinking of all around the world and all the various platforms. So yeah, they're going to take a cut and get it on to iTunes. Now a distributor can actually get you a better placement on iTunes perhaps than you can get yourself. But it's going to get you on all the VOD platforms that maybe an, an aggregator would. But then it's going to sell the film in areas you're not even thinking of. For instance, we have a small distributor. But six months after we released on VOD, they secured us a Hulu deal worth five figures. Uh, just two days ago, now the film came out in February of 2017. They're at Cannes, the Cannes film market now, shopping their films, our distributor, and they're including Fair as one of them. I just got a call that a Chinese company wants to license Fair for five figures for a Chinese market. Uh, over a year after the film's released, that's because we have a distributor who's now, you know, 14 months in, still shopping our films to untap markets. That's why you have a distributor. Because yeah, you may be able to get it on iTunes, but you're not gonna be able to sell it to that Chinese company for five figures. So even if you have to go to for a small distributor like we did for Fair, they're gonna be able to net you income most likely that you wouldn't be able to do it yourself. I find myself saying this sort of thing to a lot of people and how often they just, it's all like stuff they're hearing for the first time because it was stuff I learned firsthand for the first time. So not enough people are sort of really breaking it down. This is kind of how it works. So there you go. Go make your movie and then get your movie distributed.